Now we're going to go over how to enable chat features on your Android phone. The first two things we're going to do is make sure that car carrier services and the messages app, the Android messages app, are both up to date. So if you're using a um, Samsung phone or something like that, also be aware you do need the Android messages app by Google downloaded and set as your default texting app in order for this to work. So first we're going to jump into the Play Store and we're going to search for carrier services and you see for me it pops up at the top so I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And then we're going to click on carrier services here um, by Google and you can see um, there's no update button for me so mine's up to date so that's good to go but you do have to go and make sure this is updated or else you will not be able to enable these features. Um, also, if it, for some reason it's not installed on your phone, go ahead and install it from here. Now we're going to go back and we're going to go check on Messages. And we're going to click on the Google Messages here, the Android one, um, not Messenger by Facebook or anything else. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. Mine's up to date because there is no update button, so we are good to go. So we're going to head back to the home screen here and we're going to go now and jump into the messages app. Once open, we're going to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner here. From here, we're going to tap on settings. And then the first option is, as you can see, is chat features. And we're going to go ahead and click on chat features. So once you've opened up chat features, if you've updated career services and everything, it should actually automatically turn on for you. And you can see my status is connected at the top here, which means it's enabled and ready to go. Um, if not, you will be able, um, you'll see a button that says that you can go ahead and turn it on and get it set up if it hasn't done so already. So just go ahead and do that. And then from here you can see we get some options. Um, the first one is enable chat features. Um, so this is what chat features does. It uses Wi-Fi or data for messaging when available. Think of it a little bit like iMessage. So instead of sending your texts um, through the cell tower, kind of the normal old fashioned way, it now uses internet in order to do that. The reason this is nice is because you're able to send larger files like photos and videos um, in much clearer quality than you could before. Um, you also get things like read receipts so you can see if the other person has read your message. Um, you can also see if it's been made sure it's been delivered to the other person um, and you get those typing indicators that you get with most um, internet chat things like Facebook, Messenger, or uh, iMessage where you can see if the person is typing back. And you can turn any of these on or off um, if you want to. So I'll go ahead and send read receipts on. That just so the person I'm texting will know if I've read their message or not. Um, but again, it's up to you um, which of these features you want to have installed or not. Um, this is fairly new um, and is rolling out to everyone and Google says it should be to everyone on Android hopefully by the end of the year. Um, another important thing to know, chat features will only work if the person you're texting also has chat features um, enabled and um, ready to go. So if you're still texting someone with an iPhone, it's going to send it the old fashioned way through standard text, um, at least for now. Um, and if you're texting someone on an Android phone who doesn't have this set up yet, it's still going to go the old fashioned way. Um, you'll be able to tell um, if they have chat features are enabled or not because you'll see those typing indicators that um, that they're typing or you'll also be able to actually see in Android messages the blue message bubble that you send is actually now a darker blue if that other person also has chat features on. So that's kind of an easy way to tell. Um, this so far is working on Verizon if you have a Pixel phone or if you have an S10. Um, I'm sure it's going to come to other phones very soon. Um, it does sound like Google wants this all done by the end of the year, which is rapidly approaching. So just go and make sure you have all this stuff uh, updated and turned on and you'll be good to go. Hopefully that helps.